Happy Happy Friends. Hopefully everyone's having a good one. Um, Iggy, what do we got for our game language? Well, I have a question for you. Belle du Francais, we're playing in French tonight. <laughs> All right, parlez-vous Francais it is. Thank you to everyone who contributed to the PCF to make that happen. Baguettes in the chat, y'all, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Merci. Mer Merci beaucoup. You're the, you're the French speaker. Oui. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Je parle français. I'm Kios, it's a pleasure to finally be able to run this game. Um, I guess I'll dedicate it to my stepfather, who unfortunately lost his struggles with cancer last Easter. So it feels good to be able to do something for him. Um, do you want to go in? Do I want to introduce y'all first? Sure. Possibly. Cool. I'm Kios. I'm here. I'm the cat boy on the internet. I'm Alfina, a resident tiefling that uh, spends a lot of time analyzing this game with him. I'm Cosmic, and I'm here to support Kios. I'm Froob. I've Speed round, five out to 13 once. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We ready to go? I think I only speed ran it once, too, but I've dissected everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to be running this on normal difficulty, apparently in French. Uh, oui. We ready on the timer? Oh, wait. That's on me. All right. And a three, two, one, go. So welcome to a interesting video game. If you are not sure about this game, you haven't heard too much about it, uh, I can run it down for you really quickly. It's just the story of a bachelor party goes poorly. Um, <laughs> there is going to be some loud music sometimes, but otherwise it should be a good time. There are going to uh, be some bright lights. Bright lights, yeah. If you're a fan of Guy Ritchie films, uh, this, is, this is a video game for you because it starts at the end and then you get teleported back to the beginning and then you work your way around to the end again. Okay, oh, hey, it's Noctis from Tekken 7. Oh, dude, I loved him in Soul Calibur. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, yes, if anybody's like watching the stream uh, at home and going, something seems off about this resolution. Yeah, we, we, no, we play the game on uh, low graphics for this category on purpose. It's just going to allow us to do some of the really neat tricks you're going to see here in a bit. Is it required? No. Does it make things consistent and a good bit faster? Yes. That's good. Cool. And there's the answer. Yeah. My favorite part of this game is I sometimes just don't have to do anything. It plays itself. It's wonderful. <laughs> There's entire boss fights that the fastest strat is to do, do nothing. nothing. <laughs> just do nothing. But don't worry, you won't see any of those. Yeah. This is so weird in French. I love it. Eh. Wait, a standby me in French? I, I hope so. God, I remember. Hope so. <laughs> <sighs> This doesn't fit in my, my random facts about the random languages. Yeah, I really should have prepared a bit more for the French. I guess shout-outs to Lay French Restream as well. I know we have a, a bunch of really cool uh, Restream channels going on, so big ups. So you can watch this in whatever language. True. All right, so the first part of the game is I push a car. It's a very heavy car. Um, and we definitely won't talk over what we're, uh, you know, going to be doing to prevent any copyright notices. That's, you know, it's fine. So, who wants to talk about pushing a car? Cosmic, would you oh, like to push yeah. this car? Yeah, so I wouldn't like to push the car, but I'll explain why we're pushing the car, because it broke down. So, Kios has actually turned the camera around uh, so that he doesn't have anything in the draw distance that's loading in as much anyway, because obviously the... Um, the road is loading in here. Oh, the mountains and everything are not going to be loading in. So it doesn't save a ton of time here at the beginning of the game, but, you know, frames are frames. So I yeah. missed the view. Yeah. Yeah, the view the, is nice. We used to go around to the back of the car for this uh, and realize that it's a second or yeah. so faster. I mean, that goes back from, like, the original, yeah, to, like the original days of running this on, like, console. To go to the... to put in the camera in the front of the car. And uh, I'm just going to always miss the view from the back of the car. Gladio's magical stretch pants. <laughs> I've never seen leather distend that much. <laughs> if someone can find me those leather pants to work just like that. Here, I'll give you a treat. Hey. 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 But look. There it is. There like, is no that leather that moves pocket. like that. Like, how <laughs> the doubles in size? <laughs> this man has pockets of holding plus one. <laughs> if you could find me leather that moves like that. Sheesh. Because that would be really comfy leather. Yep, that's oh. true. That's been treated properly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
yay, we didn't have to deal with Florence and the Machine for once. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, hey, we made it to Hammerhead uh, because apparently we didn't know what gasoline is. But no, like, we left the car running for a very long time because uh, Noct had to put some extra gel in that hair to make sure that spike stood up. Oh, don't worry. His hair is going to see some horrible things in a little bit. And uh, so we were kind of... Also, can we appreciate that they still have a southern accent? Yeah. yeah. How does, how does... <laughs> That's great. If you're in for a little bit of a scare, you can do the German audio, and it's it's a bit abrupt. Now, if you're doing the full no, the no AMG categories, uh, the German actually will lose you time. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. It is slower. Hmm. How about that? <laughs> All right, first menu. Always a good time. I got to get equipped while I do that. Uh, we'll have an explanation for it. It's basically everything we have on is going to get changed to something else. Eh? Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Yeah. yeah, unfortunately, okay. there's no optimization button. So. Right. Shoutouts to Strangers of Paradise. A couple <laughs> Great game. big things that's happening, though, uh, is that Keo did put on the Mage Mashers. Um, we're going to be using those a bit for movement here shortly. And then you can see we had a quick outfit change. Um, and you no longer get to see that beautifully spiky hair. Yes, I am now legally distinct, not Power Rangers. Yes. Um, <laughs> This uh, suit, uh, when we are wearing it, we do not take damage. Um, Can't be staggered be either. Yeah, Can't right. be staggered. And that'll be active. It's active for a full 30 minutes of battle time. And you can tell that it's active because there's a bright light on his back. Um, and that's how, eating up at that time. And it does take a full 24 hours to recharge once we use that. So this category, we're not even going to blink at it. But... You pay attention to that in some of the longer runs. Um, and you guys notice that Keo did climb a giant rock and pick up a Mega Elixir, because there's just a Mega Elixir hanging out right there at the beginning of the run. Great item. It's pretty good for the start of the game. Yeah, yeah and like great. nobody would think to climb up a rock and grab it. They really yeah. wanted to stress the open world part of this game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You and also see uh, the, the warp strikes here that increase the multipliers on the damage, depending on how far you are from the enemy as well. This also uses MP, so you'll see Kios also go to these warp points during battles that refill MP, which allows him to warp strike more and do a lot of damage to enemies. It's going to be really good, especially since we're going to be underleveled for a lot of the run. The entire run. And the entire run. Yeah. It's a neat trick that we uh, make use of here, too, that uh, at the end of each fight, you'll notice Kyo goes to one of those warp points. It, it, he makes it look easy. It's true, he does. It's not that easy <laughs> sometimes. The biggest enemy in this game is 90% of the time, the camera. Isn't that true of a lot of RPGs, though? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like exactly right there. But we're good. So nice. we have the exact setup that I want, and I forgot. There we go. Cool. Just a picture for memory, right? Yeah, just a picture for memory. We won't need that at all later. No, it's not important. Um, Iggy, we, uh, we probably have some time if you want to filter a few through. Sounds good to me, but yeah, I kind of slept on it. But Awesome Games Done Quick 2024 has raised over $200,000 for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Thank you, everyone, so much for your generosity, your magnanimousness. Lots of wonderful stuff. Thank you, everyone. We have $50 from God is Now Online saying, I've watched GDQ for a few years now. First time donator. Super happy to get to be a part of this. Let's go, Keo. Crush the game and show off how far the rails you could take it and show off the level one Omega fight, which once again, Keo is going to be doing in just a moment. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Um, we also have ourselves $100 from Seriously Surly. Hey, Yay. volunteer number three. <laughs> they say super happy for you, bud. Your passion and stubbornness has paid off, and I look forward to whatever project you sink your teeth into next. Hey, thank you, Surly. Probably got time for another, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm cleaning these up that... Uh... Yeah, we got ourselves uh, Larry donating three hundred and fifty dollars to PCF. Larry, 
Saying, donating Tree Fitty for my favorite speedrunner, Ben Kyo's Little Monster. It's incredible how fast this run has become. Sad though, we no longer see Dino or Seaside Supermodels anymore. Just go fast and kick butt. You got this. I need about Tree Fitty. I, I, uh, I think not seeing Dino is a blessing. <laughs> Listen, sometimes you need a little South Jersey, Boston, New York accent. In your but at least game we still here. have Dave. Yeah, uh, we do Dave. still have Dave. Good guy, Dave. I love Dave. Dave's a great guy. If you've uh, played casually, Dave actually has a really cool side story that involves like retrieving uh, dog tags from downed hunters. He's like the collector of them and kind of so that he can get that in back to their family. Yeah, like he's a, like he's actually like a really cool character beat. He sounds quite mysterious in French. Yeah, I noticed that. I like his voice actor in French. Suavemente. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then right after Kios finishes this dialogue, he's going to be putting the camera up and then going to be trying to warp strike over a road to prevent additional dialogue from Ignis, where Ignis wants to explain how to camp out. We already know how to camp out. You set up the tent, and then you just pick a place to put it. Yep. You know, yep. so we don't need to worry about all that. And uh, a lot of skips in this game, like not, not the glitches, Okay. But the skips, you know you did it when nothing, nothing happens. happens. Yeah. It's the best part. That was the, that was the first skip of the run? Yep. Yep. Woo. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's I mean, flawless. you can, you can clap. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it went through flawlessly. It was great. Yeah. I just got hung up on the rail. Sometimes, unfortunately, with the way this game works, it wasn't originally designed for 120 FPS. So, like, if you notice, sometimes, like, I'll jump and then Noctis will, like, hit an invisible wall and just fall straight down. It's just a physics system. Yep. Mm. Woo! <sighs> All right, big old beastie. Uh, this in game, this uh, this enemy actually has lore implications. It has the star scourge. If you want me to tell you what the star scourge is, I really can't because I don't remember. And like <laughs> this run doesn't touch I mean, on it. <laughs> I probably could, but it, it's gonna take a lot more explaining than I feel like. Oh, it's dead. That. The flip was nice, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's been a while since we flipped him. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, again, the power of like getting huge distance from enemies and using those warp points to your advantage in fights. Mm -hmm. Just downed in a couple shots. That's the power of muscles! <laughs> <laughs> I think about that commercial like just way more often than anyone should. Cindy's going to ask us if we want, like, to leave what our dad left in the trunk. This is just, like, skins for the car. It doesn't matter. It doesn't affect anything. So we're just going to mash through it. Um, but we are going to start using some of the very cool stuff that they have in the game, like the ability to just fast travel to two different places. And so because we haven't, um, we don't have the car yet, we're getting it here in two seconds, um, and we haven't actually rested, because we've only discovered one rest point, it counts that as the spot that you last rested. Yeah, it's just where you loaded in. All right, there's where you rested. Good job. We're going to take a picture with the car, you know, because you know, that's, that's what everyone does. Like, look, at, look at my dad's car. It's my dad's car. <laughs> My dad has a yacht. <laughs> <laughs> Not like we're going to see that yacht. Yeah. I wanted to go fishing off the yacht. We, um, if you're paying attention at home, also, uh, some of the dialogue choices we made are intentional. I'm trying to harvest enough AP so I can get some abilities early to get what I need done. Um, even not unfortunately, I think it's mildly amusing. Um, all the dialogue options that we want are like the rudest possible option. And not only does it give it what we want, it's kind of funny, but it's also the fastest options yeah. too. <laughs> Just like in real life, if yeah. you're rude to somebody, they don't want to keep talking to you. <laughs> funny. <laughs> Never would have guessed. Hey, do you mind doing me a favor? No. Oh, well, I thought you'd say yes. Mm, too bad. I'm not stopping. Right. Inventory sell-off, and we're going to take a ride, but first I have to play around with the community and put on the best Final Fantasy music of oh, all no. time. <laughs> While Kia's is looking for the music, uh, one of the best things uh, about the car, in my opinion, for this game is the fact that it is a shop. 
so you don't have to like remember to go back to town and everything else and while you're in these driving sequences whether you're playing this casually or you're doing this as a speed run you have that opportunity to actually access a shop mm -hmm. and I mean it's not like you get everything you need but it like if you're out in the wild, you can work back to your car and like grab a couple of potions or Phoenix Downs or whatever you need, and you're you can just be instantly back into it, which is really nice. Um, this game, in my opinion, really wasn't designed to be like an incredibly challenging Final Fantasy, but it does give you the options to make it incredibly difficult and challenging if you want to, which is nice. And it's also incredibly rewarding for if you took the time to play around with all the different things that you can do. So like one of the things that we're doing, we bought a 98 sheep's milk because we already have one. Um, so we'll have 99 sheep's milk that we'll use in uh, crafting later. But playing around with what different things and how much of different things to put into different magic builds, it becomes incredibly rewarding in different ways and you can have a lot of fun I, I had a thing for the, the curse magics. Oh, yeah. There's like so many interesting effects. Do not recommend doing that if you're not ready for it, but it's a lot of fun <laughs> once you're ready to just start playing with the RNG. So now this is uh, ZCB or Zero Camera Bug. So Kios is going to set the FPS to 30 and then select this right here, this little option for yeah, the gallery. A bit. Let's and then it's going to reload it, right? Yeah, reload it should be good. Yeah. I think I got it. Cool. Beautiful. Yep. Excellent. There it is. Yeah. So it's this like pushes right. him past the wall that he was just in front of, and then he's going to call the car to the other side of the wall. So that was a pretty big skip. Yep. Yeah. So basically what ended up happening there that you, you don't see is we went from chapter one to the space that you're allowed to get into it starting in chapter three. If you haven't caught on to the theme of this game, uh, this run for this game, it's the, uh, I don't want to do this, so we're going to just skip along to where we want to be. <laughs> just going to skip. <laughs> Cool. So we're going to drive over to what is a, like Alfina mentioned, is a quest you can access as early as Chapter 3, but it is kind of foisted upon you in Chapter 5. Iggy, you got anything? I absolutely do. We have ourselves $50 from Kit and Akai. Hey. They say GL with the run, Kios, and try not to break the game too hard. And some still want to play the game. <laughs> well, thank you so much. We also have ourselves $20 from Striker. Say, so seeing you on the GDQ stage is so heartwarming and incredible. I'm proud of you, Kios. Good luck on the run. And a lot of love coming in for that Silent Hill 2 incentive later tonight. We have $25 from VK, memeing it up in their donation, saying, Weather Train, donate your current weather. Mine from freezing Finland is negative 25 Celsius. Oof. That is negative 13 in American units. Yeah. Bonus game equals more GDQ and more Dices. Let's go! Oh. First time donating. Honk! <laughs> <laughs> and we are approaching. Whoa, we are nearly $30,000 out of the $40,000. Yell, you are crushing it. Keep those donations coming in. Put towards that Silent Hill Who incentive. Thank you, everyone. Let's this go. Amazing. That is such a good game and such a good run. If you've... If if you've not had like the pleasure of watching Eck do like a speed run, it's there's just something like so enjoyable about it. <laughs> X Clock Tower run last night was fantastic. Oh, okay. oh yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I really the music kicks in just as it <laughs> right? like, goes silent. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, game. It knew what we needed. Games, games got you. I also realize this is really positive because this is the only run where Prompto actually gets chocobos. Yeah. Oh. Only version so, of the run. Yeah, it, it, normally when we're doing uh, an, any no AMG uh, category, to get chocobos takes about... Yeah, it's like five, six minutes if I'm like really on yeah, the game. Yeah, and it saves us like two. On a besoin yeah. So it's like you end up giving up a lot more time than you're saving. Um, so it just it's not efficient to, to get chocobos for the, for the run. And, it's always kind of sad because the chocobos in this game are absolutely adorable. They're really yep. cute. And you can dye them fun colors and... You can give them medals, by the way. You can, put, you can give them medals. And, you know, it's, it's fun to put Gladi on a bright pink chocobo. Yeah, I don't care who you are. <laughs> I love, you slightly fell through the floor there, didn't you? Yeah. That's and yeah. There's, there's no glitches going on. That happens in, <laughs> just in the game, yes. period. <laughs> There are two options. You fall waist deep or you land on an invisible box there, that's not there, and I don't know why it happens. It happens when we a, leave, um, too. 
There was a run I did of, of here that when I was getting around not having that dialogue pop up in chapter five that I actually ended up like waist deep in the ground and I just jumped right back up and kept going. <laughs> it's, it, that's 15 being 15. Fair. Also, <laughs> we grab the main hunt here, which is the... Uh, what is it, Behemoth? Dead Eye. Uh, uh, yeah, or Dead, Dead Eye, Eye. Yeah. yeah. And then we grab another hunt that actually changes it to nighttime. Mm -hmm. It's efficient. Um, so basically what I have to do, like without kind of really spoiling too, too much, uh, in order to finish this run, I need an encounter. I need chocobos, and uh, I think that's really about it. So we're just kind of combining stuff fairly intentionally here. Yeah. Night times when a lot of enemies come out. It's going to be good times. It's just prettier at night. Yeah. True. It's actually a great time to point out. So uh, Final Fantasy 15 is built on the Lumina engine. Yeah, the good old Luminous engine. One of the beautiful things with the Luminous engine is that you get to see is mostly the effects show up the best at night. It does a lot of dynamic lighting, which the more you turn up the graphics, the more of that you'll see. But like right now, um, even the way that the headlights are rendering light is uh, an interesting way that it's done. The, he the street lights uh, there. Uh, yeah, we'll be fine. And it's why this game is a lot to download. Um, <laughs> but the, even the lights on their chest, all of this is a really cool effect of this engine and how it renders shadows in, in real time. So here we're going to do uh, zero camera bug again. Change to 30. And use the picture that we have in the gallery to get over That's it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yep. that one got that up one was over the bad. invisible wall. The, uh, the interesting thing I didn't want to mention was there was a spawn coming in right behind me. I saw <laughs> it, and I was trying to not mention it either. I heard it. <laughs> uh. I also just love the sword here being thrown in yeah. first person. Yeah. It's like a giant celestial tic-tac just going across <laughs> the screen. And uh, the first person view was added with the uh, Royal Edition, which is the Windows Edition, which is what we're playing here. Um, so you weren't able to even do some of this until that came out. And that's kind of just how this game has continuously evolved since its initial release into new categories and new ways of doing things. and. Just, ugh. Perfect. But you see all those embers coming off of the fire there? That's yep. Luma's That's engine at work. Yeah. 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 And this is with Pretty. the uh, the resolution of the game set at 480p. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with low graphics. And so it's like, like, imagine yeah. that at, like, max. Oh, it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, this yeah, this, yeah, this game, beautiful, when yeah. you, like, kick it up and turn it on, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it's six years old, way ahead of its time. That, that engine is just, that's an engine at work there. It was ray tracing before ray tracing was ray tracing. Mm. Right? Anyway, I have a fight here. Yeah. Barrel. Barrel. Do a barrel roll. And I accidentally I appreciate hit that he so slid. Oh, no. Yeah, As... I didn't get the free damage. <laughs> oh, well. It'll be all right. I do appreciate that you slid, as you said, barrel roll. No, do a barrel roll. Um, so one of the things that we got in the last menu that we did... Uh, and that we're using here is the ability to swap to Ignis. Uh, because Deadeye is very, very weak to fire. Yep. And so by swapping to Ignis, we can add an element to our attacks constantly. Uh, so right now what uh, we did was he did that entire fight. Yeah, that was really good. That was a clean fight with not really him jumping up and... All right, this better is, than this practice. Is, this is where we <laughs> hope everything goes right. Yeah. So right now, Kyo's is going to hope for certain enemy spawns because he has to put Noctis into danger state uh, in order to set up this glitch. And if the enemies that are spawning are not powerful enough to do a lot of damage to Noctis in a quick hey. amount of time, the party can actually kill the, the enemies that there are spawning. They are. Yeah, there I we go. We got the good spawn. Let's Excellent. go. Um, and those of you who noticed, uh, we also had the menu was on top of everything and the time's still going. So we are now fully glitched in. Um, from this point on, anytime that we open the menu, I'm sorry if you are sensitive to bright lights, but it's just going to keep getting brighter. Yeah, I'll try and give you all a heads up on it, especially for tech. Um, but yeah, 
So right now everything is totally fine. Everything yeah. is everything is totally fine. There's nothing going wrong with this game at all. Nope. This looks exactly like my casual playthrough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I turned it on and this is what it looks like. Um, <laughs> because not a lot is like really available, like knowledge-wise, about Luminous Engine. Like pretty much most of the things I've picked up have been from a dev that just kind of wandered into my chat one day. Shout out to El Spiro. Um, but the, the easiest way to kind of describe what is going on within the game is like if you're familiar with like memory overflow, um, which is generally a lot more common with like cartridge-based games where the game, you've affected it to the sense that it doesn't have the capacity to deal with what you're doing. <laughs> so as far as the game knows, we are paused with the menu open, but it's not. So, you know, some, some weird things will happen. Uh, unfortunately, though, uh, we can't just kind of carry on with what we got to do. Um, because if I try and actually open the menu while this is in the current state that it is, it'll realize that, hey, there's a menu open already. But you just tried to open a menu, and you just get soft locked. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we mentioned the ability to rest earlier. I'm going to grab that. And we're just you're going to have snooze. Clearly, we'll just fix it. We'll just sleep. It'll be fine. Um, the other reason is also, you know, I'm still level one, so I would like to have a little bit of help getting into the final boss. Level nine? That seems fine. Yeah, level nine. Yeah. You yeah. guys think we can do this at level nine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. yeah. Free. Yeah, yeah, Easy. You free. said earlier, technically, you could do it at level one, right? But it's just obviously a lot scarier. So we... Yeah, it's just... It, <laughs> It's it's it's, it's slower. Yeah, there it's is slower. a category that exists that Keo has run multiple times that is all Royal Arms mm -hmm. level one. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So <laughs> yes, it's possible. <laughs> so now we're gonna go back to the title screen. Yeah. And we're gonna load up one of the DLCs, at least the main menu of it. I thought I was playing the, the actual game. I, I was I, I was just gonna do like a casual playthrough and hope people didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it took a lot to like get here, sit up here, and not just like open up near Automata or something, just mess with people. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but for some reason, very interestingly, the DLCs that are packed in with this game just kind of clears the screen, but not the glitch. So basically, what we have here hanging is just we're in a pause menu. And Hi, it is a persistent condition. Hi, Arden. Bye, Arden. I'll see you in like, I don't know, what's, 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 what's our time we're looking like? 26 minutes. 26, yeah, we'll see him in about, oh. 15? Nah, about 20, 21 to 22. Oh. Yeah, that's yeah I did my I'm, math I'm, wrong. Yeah, RTA versus load list. Shout outs to load removers. Yeah. True. True. <laughs> you don't have to have an incredibly expensive, powerful PC to run it. Just use a load remover. That way it's fair for everybody. But anyway, I'm going to actually just load right back in. Everything's going to be normal, totally fine. There's no trickery, no chicanery, no, nothing. The game's going to be folded in half, isn't it? We already did that once. No. We already did that once. True. We, we went True. through the wall we weren't supposed to go <laughs> through. <laughs> Listen, you can call me a liar, but don't call me late for dinner. True. True. <laughs> speaking of dinner, dinner. We haven't set a time for dinner. Yeah. Hey. Speaking, of, speaking of dinner, it's our boy Taka. Taka's great. Oh, He's oh, easily oh, the most oh, terrified oh, character. Oh, <laughs> like, he just comes time. storming oh, into the diner, <laughs> knocking <laughs> stuff over. He goes, whoa! You oh. walk into that editor. <gasps> didn't, I didn't see you there. <laughs> also, shout outs to the jambalaya for looking good even at 50% resolution. Yeah. <sighs> I love a good jambalaya. Um, so something fantastic with this uh, game. Yeah. Yeah, we can just... Uh, food them is them. important. Yeah, mm -hmm. shh, don't tell them that. It'll be more surprising when I do it this way. Anyway, I really like chocobos. Now, I need a chocobo. You know, so I'm going to rent this one. We're going to say hi to this one. It's beautiful. I'm going to open the menu and then just pretend that there's not a menu. So this is how broken the game is. We <laughs> yep. have just everything is now officially deloaded. Um, and I am going to go for a very, very, very long walk. So if, if you have anything to plug or ask, now is the time. 
This is Bobby Corn here, uh, begins his sojourn across the sea to Insomnia. We have lots of love coming in for you, Kios. We have $15 from Lily the Lion. Yay. You're saying, I can't donate as much as I usually like to this year. So here is a dollar for every year since cancer stole my father from me. Let's help PCF come up with the recipe to get rid of this awful disease. Thank you, Lily. Thank you so much. <laughs> We also have ourselves $100 from Mind Games. Yeah, D. Saying this is for my favorite cat boy, Kios. I've watched you since Hotspot and got to see you work your ass off to get here. So I'm giving this money to fight cancer and support your effort. Good luck on the run, Kio. Yeah. And we also have ourselves a donation from Edrum and Z in the amount of $1,000. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Seeing so glad to see another AGDQ. My sister and I spent last year running Final Fantasy 15, so I'm glad to see four bros and their there. car make it to the main stage. Thank you to all the runners and the staff for putting on a great show for an awesome cause. Well, thank you, Edrum and Ooh. Z. Oh, interesting. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, where's Bobby Corwin? Where's the Chocobo? That's one what? of the strange oh. things I can wait. Can I? Ah. No, that's oh. really unfortunate. Um, yeah. That's weird. So, that happens every once in a blue moon for yeah. some reason. Bobby Corwin just sometimes disappears. So we'll just, we'll just load it back he, in. He didn't quite think? like going through the rock, apparently. Um, I don't blame him because I wouldn't want to. Yeah, there's just... There's it would ruffle be my feathers. Pixel. Yeah. Oh, very funny. Ha. Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate it, though. Uh, right. So... Yeah, we just got to redo this. My apologies, but... The thing about running uh, anything glitched is occasionally the glitches, uh, the game goes, what are you doing? Why are you doing it? I, I Honestly, I can think that's only happened like three times in the like entirety of this run. The first time it happened, I remember just staring blankly at your screen. I was, I was quite confused by it. <laughs> The second time, it's like, okay, so this is just a, on the list of could happen. You know, it wasn't the thing that I expected. It wasn't, it wasn't the glitch I was expecting to happen today. All right, anyway, so, hey, yeah. you just get more Chocobo time. Everybody more Chocobo! Yeah, more Chocobo time. And if I may, more donations. Go ahead. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, you. Oh, you got oh. bonus time. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus time. Got ourselves uh, ten dollars from Caribbean. They say, "Can anybody see through this fog? It must be rolling in from the Silent Hill." Bonus game. Currently sitting at thirty-one thousand dollars. Out of the forty thousand dollars, we are making amazing progress on that. Everybody, keep those donations coming in and get yes, those met coach that incentive. Pretty please. And also, we do have a, a bid war going on for Sonic Adventure 2 Battle in a little bit. Hero versus Dark Story. Dark Story is on an absolute tear. You want to see a super extreme run, don't you? But if we have some uh, fans of Sonic and Tails and want to go ahead and get some donations in for that, you may be able to tip the balance in the favor. Just a suggestion there. We also have $25 from Aliens. Yeah. Saying, woo, go Kios. Mary and I are watching and cheering from my couch. Hey, thank you so much. The gremlins are your responsibility this weekend, Mari. <laughs> oh, Mari. My apologies, Mari. We also have uh, Sydney Jones coming in with a $250 donation to PCF. They say, hey, Kios, the community and I are so proud of you for all the hard work you put in every day on your runs. Wrangling such a huge game into a run under an hour is incredible enough, but add that to the love you put into supporting every single one of your friends, plus a touch of impeccable fashion. And you might just have a Catboy recipe, even Ingus would approve of. Oh, a Catboy recipe. 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 <laughs> Sending you love from Canada on behalf of myself and the many people in my life who will battle through the trials of cancer. Early detection is our strongest weapon. Good luck on the run and grab that world record. Not possible in this run anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, congratulations. I got congratulations. 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 The PS1 is very jealous of these graphics that are happening. It is. Now. So if you're unaware of where I might actually be in the game, the answer is incredibly out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we are so far outside of anywhere we should be. Um, 
why this area is rendered and has collision, I'm not sure beyond the fact that it's like kind of showcased in some cutscenes. So, I don't know. But hey, we're going for a uh, pretty decent walk here. Um, yeah, I'm not, not sure what happened with the first Chocobo. It wasn't, uh, wasn't up to snuff, I guess. And didn't want to make the journey with us. So Going we have, through the rock ruffled his feathers, I told you. Yeah, there's got to be like one, one like weird pixel there because it's always just... Your uh, system memory also went up a little bit as you did it. Nah, I'm not worried about it. No, I'm saying that as he yeah. disappeared, it, that system <laughs> memory spiked. So I'm wondering if that also has something to do with it, but it'd be worth investigating later. There, there, There is a maybe perhaps gentle warning with running this category. Uh... It, it, it might be a little bit hard on your system hardware, maybe. Yeah. But you can run it on console, which is also nice. And it seems to actually be more consistent, like I've noticed with console. It just takes a longer bit of time to figure it out and get comfortable with everything. So which chapter are you currently in and which chapter are you about to land in? Uh, we are... I think the game thinks we're in, what, chapter three or the six? Games? Or? I think the game thinks we're still in chapter three. Yeah, chapter three, yeah. And then we're about to skip to, like, chapter 14 or something. Yeah. yeah. The game is in chapter one. The game, the, the game is in chapter <laughs> one. The game is still in chapter oh, one. Oh, goodness. Yeah. We, I mean, we, we never completed, sin like, the last actual, like, game quest we had. We, we didn't finish the... Was to stop at the motel. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. It's still we in chapter one. We never met Dino. We, uh, we never got the beautiful cutscene where Arden walks in as this mysterious stranger. and Yeah. Yeah, there's so. a lot that's just being... There's, there's like, it's introduction, tutorial, and then... Boss rush. <laughs> yeah, end game. <laughs> and then there's not even a boss rush. Spoiler alert on that one. <laughs> how could you? Nah, if you came in wondering how we were going to do some of those final bosses uh, at such a low level, well, you'll see you'll how see. we... Um, I have the most powerful power and magic of all. <laughs> Just you the power of friendship. Oh, it's not friendship. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had hopes. I think we got time you for some better. more donations. Yeah, we, right? we got yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, we're just making jokes. Absolutely. We got $100 from The Cat is Mari. Nailed it. Shout outs to everyone's favorite fifth Final Fantasy 15 speedrunner and gremlin babysitter. Much love for me and my nerds. True. Got Night Sprites coming in with a $25 donation saying, good to see you here at AGDQ, brother. Good luck on your 15 run and don't stop jumping, Kios. True. Never stop jumping. Can't. Can't stop, won't stop. And if I may, we're about approaching a, a traditional point in your run during this part on your stream, Kios. Yep. I'd like to take care of it this time. I want to shout out one of GDQ sponsors, Fangamer, who donated $10,000. Let's go. Fan Gamer says, hey everybody, Fan Gamer here. We are excited to be back as a sponsor for another Games Done Quick Marathon. Donations like this one benefit the Prevent Cancer Foundation and are made possible thanks to everyone who shops our GDQ merchandise collection during AGDQ 2024. Until the end of the event, 100% of the profits from sales of our GDQ merch will be donated. Check out the full lineup at fangamer.com slash GDQ. Thank you so much, Fan Gamer. Woo! Heck yeah. Yay. They have great vinyl selection, too. Chocobos can swim now, I guess. Yeah, Chocobos, Chocobos can swim. Yeah. So oh. that, that's how you actually do, like, any of the have to cross water in the yeah. game. There's, a, there's actually a lake that you would go across. You, you have to use a Chocobo. Yeah, Chocobos can oh. swim. Yeah. Is it like all the Final Fantasies? Do you need like, a specific one, or are we just, you know, whichever one you got? Yeah, yeah whichever one. Whichever I played one. this really game really. for like 40 hours and never knew that. Like, <laughs> I saw it's a body wild. of water and I was like, That's, that sucks. Yeah. Like, yeah. I can't do it. They yeah, they don't tell you. The Chocobos <laughs> can swim. <laughs> yep, Chocobos the only answer to, to how to swim, which is why we had to go get the Chocobos yeah. to yeah. do this, because we are actually moving forward at the moment. Um, it just doesn't quite look like anything's happening, but yeah. I promise you things are happening. It's just a very long way to get to insomnia. Yeah. What we're basically setting up is a really, really <laughs> long, wrong warp. Um, when we get there, it'll, it'll all make sense. But yeah, no, Noctis can't swim. I was going to say, he suffers from yep. the open world protagonist problem. <laughs> well, you know, he's got that, all that gel in his hair. Oh, that's true. Uh, yeah. He has to keep that looking perfect. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you know what he's missing? That doesn't give him any buoyancy. A bit. 
That's true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll get to that. Yeah. We'll get to that too. I was going to say, what what is the last Final Fantasy protagonist that could swim? It was Titus, right? Yeah. 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 Huh. That was like his job. Yeah. Was he <laughs> swimming in lightning returns? Well, the androids in Automata can't swim. Brother Near can't swim. Papa Near can't swim. <laughs> Sion Barzad can't swim. No, definitely not. I remember being very upset in Final Fantasy 16 that he couldn't swim. Yeah. Have you so seen his water chest? <laughs> what, do you think he's going to float with that? <laughs> that man is chiseled out of like, stone. At least like, <laughs> that's good arms. He can use those to swim. Right? Can't even put his toes in the water. He's like, no. I'm not. <laughs> Can't have that happen. Listen, I'm not going to let the impure thoughts win. <laughs> but also, you know, like Noctis loves fishing, so why can't Noctis swim? I, I don't know. That yeah, really, really doesn't make sense. He does love fishing. Like, oh, I don't know. Maybe he's like agoraph, not agoraphobic, aquaphobic? Maybe. Hydra. Hydrophobic? Yeah. Is he hydrophilic? <laughs> I don't know. Hydrophobic is rabies. Oh. 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 Huh. There it is. So the reason the speed run works is because Noctis has... <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> I regret mentioning that fact. <laughs> <laughs> and right on cue. Yeah, and right on cue. <laughs> if you notice, the entire world went blank. It's a good sign. Um, so we're running this on PC. There has only been one PC release of this. But it's going to tell me that I installed the Royal Pack. <laughs> <laughs> there was no base 15 installation for this. So this is a sign of good times. The, the game is telling me something that shouldn't exist. But all right, cool. Anyway, uh, so we've gone from chapter one. It is now officially chapter 14 or 13, yeah. whatever. Yeah, 14. end game time. End game time. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so one of the things that the Royal Edition did, which the Windows Edition is the Royal Edition, like we were saying, there there is no... Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So <laughs> one of the things that that did was actually really expand the city of Insomnia. Um, Thankfully, if, this run wouldn't be possible without it. Right? And the other thing is, like, when you got to this point, you're like, oh, we made it back to Insomnia. This is the most empty, boring place to look around. All right. No, now it's, you know, filled with things to do, enemies, actual, like, signs of where life would have been. There's side then. quests. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, pretty neat. It's actually become uh, a whole interesting piece of the game. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, you'll see Kyo's is absorbing a lot of ice because there's a lot of enemies in this endgame that are just weak to ice. Yeah. For those of you at home, be careful. Bright light warning right about now. Yep. Oof. Oof. This is what happens when a game tries to open a menu while it opens a menu while you're not actually in a menu, but it thinks it's in a menu, and then, you know, it's still trying to render the background of the actual menu. Yep. Isn't it beautiful? It's a lot of menus. It, 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 yeah. Yo, dog, I heard you like menus. <laughs> you menu. Shout outs to exhibit? <laughs> Shout outs to exhibit here? <laughs> I also just want to point out for the record, I met three times so far. Yeah. So a lot of warp strikes here. A lot of warp points as well in this fight, so we really get to fill that MP up a lot. There it is again. Yep. And whoop, right back to full. Yeah. This is kind of like the, the plus or minus portion for a lot of the runs because the Aramon are pretty interesting in how they spawn and sometimes move. There's a nice damage roll. That dude's got like... 12 HP left. Oh, I'll, I'll get back to him later. Sometimes Core will do damage, sometimes he won't. Uh, the biggest issue we're going to actually be facing for a, a lot of the rest of the run is because the game is just so confused about what's going on, the targeting system gets a little bit wonky, and it's not just like me normally complaining about the camera being a little bit sensitive in this game. It's actually like really bad. Yep. You'll see random cuts to different spots like that make no sense. Yeah, like, like, like where is this guy? Is there trying is. very hard to understand what it's doing. Yeah, 
warmed up, though. Yeah, that yeah. wasn't terrible. Yeah, pretty good. What do we got to have a 40 that was, 40? I have a rough idea of where we're at. That should be pretty okay. I mean, that was almost cleaner than going through the power plant and dealing with Garcia Maceres. Oh, God. Never Garcia's. Never Garcia's. Here's, uh, here's Core. The not Jack Garland. It's not Jack Garland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but listen to his French voice. Wow. He has an angry French voice. Yep. <laughs> Bright lights. I have one little bit of menuing left to do here. Um, I'm actually going to make some magic, which in the any percent version or non any percent version is incredibly powerful. There's a reason why you can only make, you know, like six or seven pieces of magic and there's a 30 second cooldown. And the answer is because magic is absurdly powerful. Yep. That, um, that magic I put together was just, uh, I think, a 99 of one element, 33 of another, and 99 sheep's milk, which is a total of, I think, less than a thousand gil. And you get two casts that are over 200 potency, which is a lot. I was just adding, I really do appreciate the voice that the voice actor they got for Core in French matches that I am mad at the world expression <laughs> yeah. that he yeah. has. Yeah, all the time. And it's just like... I couldn't be happier. <laughs> Is me Joseph. I feel like that was really quick in French. Maybe I'll start yeah. running this in French. Why not? Je ne sais quoi. Then the next fight, I believe, is Cerberus. Yeah, we're going to go visit Cerberus. Oh, well, it looks like uh, no extra money on this run. We're just, right. just going to take what we get. Cool. So, I uh, have purchased a very nice, very large two-handed sword. Uh, we'll see that later. Uh, but everything else is basically, I grabbed ethers. That's all I'm really going to need. Um, there is a, a joke about, oh, you know, you just hold circle to win in this game. It's actually triangle, first of all. <laughs> actually, actually, it's triangle. Um, but yeah, Warp Striking, unfortunately, will be a large source of our damage, but that damage wouldn't be as good as it is without Enhancement, which is an ability I grabbed uh, earlier. Um, and that is a Technic that you can do once your Technic bar fills. Uh, but it basically just allows Ignis to imbue all of your attacks with, well, whatever the enemy you're facing is weak to. So, you know, that's actually pretty dope. Very convenient. Yeah, it's super convenient. Just like how we used Ignis's ability to put uh, elements on his own weapons uh, to get through Jedi so quickly, it's just now we can do that with whatever weapons Noctis has. Looks good so far. Yep. Again, like through mentioned, peak to ice. Yeah. So, there we go. Yeah, why is everything on fire at the end of the game? <laughs> And they're going to do the bro handshake. He's got and a good bro handshake. He's going to fall over right here and not make me look like an idiot. There we go. Perfect. Uh, Yay. Yeah, this is nice. Pretty solid phase one. Yes, he literally just falls over for this long. The game obviously doesn't intend for you to be able to just, you know, launch out thousands of damage. You know, per strike. Uh, I figured. And he's going to jump very high. Nice. All right, let's see where he lands. This sh actually might be okay. Come on. You know, you want to... There you Come on. We'll see. This could go one of two ways. It's not going to go my way. <laughs> going to jump back up out of the way. Yep. I and not follow properly. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to get a little messy. Unfortunately, there's uh, the... Uh, uh, oh, no, I did get a topple of yeah, it. There you yeah, there he Yeah. Okay, I didn't even see that. So this should be pretty easy. No, did I run out? I ran out of enhancement. That's fine. I'm just going to muscle it through. Not even going to stress. Nope. There we go. Good stuff. Cleaned it up. Yeah. yeah. We've seen that fight go so many more ways worse yeah. that I'm happy with that one. <laughs> Listen, at least we didn't get the sit and spin. And if you're wondering yep. why do you call it the sit and spin, because it's literally the sit and spin, and it's also the game telling you that to your time. It's, <laughs> it, it is not a good attack pattern in any way, shape, or form. 
now we get to fight Ifrit, who is not actually just a beat, uh, not actually like a beast in this game. He's just a really tall dude. Yeah. 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 I feel like they started the trend of all of the characters must be exceedingly attractive with him. Like he was like the <laughs> prototype. <laughs> you know, like okay, so people thought he was kind of attractive. What if we made like a whole game like that? What, yeah. what would what would happen? And then so, this uh, is back to where we were in the very yeah, beginning of the game. Yeah. Yep. We've yep. come full circle. Full circle. Yep. Except for this time, we look a little more um, Power Ranger-esque. Legally distinct. Legally distinct. There, there's a lawsuit, actually, about that. Yeah. Whole thing. It's a whole thing. Um, so, actually, things like the, the power suit that we're using here, um, certain weapons that we've used uh, that are part of this DLC, um, or this edition. Uh, I'm so used to mm. comparing it to the original release. Is everything that we use has been something that has been released for free... Yep. Um, with whatever edition. So whether we do talk about base game or we talk about Royal Edition slash Windows Edition, um, everything that is allowed to be used that might be considered potentially overpowered, you would have been able to get these things without yep. any extra work or any extra money. Um, so like there's uh, weapons that you can get from doing each of the DLCs for the boys. Um, those aren't allowed in the run because you had to do something extra to go get them, and we didn't want the speedrun to require any amount of setup that way. Yeah. And you don't get the boys' DLC for free, so... Well, until you got Royal Edition. But for the original run, we had to say nope. That was, uh, that was interesting. We'll see how this plays out. Looks like oh, okay. okay. So there's nice. a there's a chance that this is actually no, <laughs> no. Th that is not supposed to happen. Uh, Unironic, like incredibly ironically, there's a less than probably two percent chance that you're supposed to be able to get Ifrit down this fast. Yeah. Like I'm actually kind of in shock because I did not <laughs> plan for that. <laughs> like I, I have this really nice setup that we go until the second piece, but it looks like one of my party members actually clipped him and threw him into vulnerable. Yeah, we're we're done with Ifrit. That's it. I nice. was not expecting that one. It actually awesome. rolled over. Um, and so that was also the one summon that we do have to do in the game <laughs> for this category, anyway. There's one more in the base game, but that's our one required summon. Yeah. And we skip through the whole thing and don't get to see my lovely Shiva. Oh, sorry. Then this next part here, this is normally where you would fight the Kings of Yore that were added in the Royal Edition. Yep, you get a but whole cool boss gauntlet. It's great. But it's great. For, you know. And it's got a really nice showcase for each of the three boys for each of fight. Mm -hmm. And really showing off, you know, what their role is in the group. Um, and what their weapons and everything else do. But, um, yeah, about that. Yeah, I don't actually know how to fight them. I'm going to open up the tutorial quick. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, d I didn't I'm say not anything. I'm going to lie on this stage that I don't know how to play this game that well. <laughs> <laughs> actually, we just want to show you all Carbuncle. Yeah, Carbuncle. Oh, Give it up for yeah, Carbuncle, yeah, yeah. the real Carbuncle. star of the run. <laughs> Look at that face. It's so good to see you again. Yeah, I remember your name. Your name is Exit Tutorial. Oh, it's Cactuar. <laughs> oh, okay, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> like also, the, the crack jazz. in here. I do yeah. like the smooth jazz, yeah. yeah. It's a carbuncle offering you health for your journey when you're at the end. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, in a sense, he does, though. Yeah, For some fun. reason, this... <laughs> also that line, yeah. when Take you're care. in trouble, I'll fly to your side. <laughs> I mean, oh. it's either that or fight three of the nastiest bosses with... No, we got to have no the chance. cutest thing ever hanging out with Carbuncle. I mean, come on. Would you guys have rather boss fights? Or, Car or Carbuncle. Carbuncle. Give it up for Carbuncle. Yeah. yeah. So loading back into this area after exiting the, t the tutorial, because it's an arena, the game doesn't want to load you into combat. So you just end up skipping all of the fights of the Kings of York. Yeah, it just completely wipes all of the fights because the... It like takes it back to pre-Royal Edition, but you know. 
So if you if you <laughs> yeah. yeah if you fight if you do all the fights you can go all the way up. The game won't allow you to save until you go back down to the ground floor and outside after you've fought all the bosses. Mm -hmm. Or you can just open the tutorial when the game's you know folded into taco shape. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry yep, for sorry the bright light that. warning. Yeah. He opened Eggers. up Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. Sheesh. What do I got? I got. We're still one. used to okay, doing cool. these fights and not thinking Decent and just. Da -da -da -da. Sorry. Yep. We got time for a donation. Yeah, right? we yeah. got time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got $150 from Brighton and Ellie. Hey! Ooh. Saying, hey, Akios, amazing to see you here at AGDQ. Ellie and I are so proud to see you finally getting your run in. Keep going, break the game, and raise some money for cancer research. Oh, thank y'all. Will do. We also have $10 from Haruka. They're saying, I'm spending Alfina's money because they're too busy commentating. <laughs> go, Leo, go. <laughs> that's, my, that's my partner. Oh, no. I hope your tummy feels better, Haru. Yeah. So this Back is at the hotel the with us. Uh, where it's like poison. checking everything in the menu, right? Like yeah, this is, yeah, this is... So, this was the biggest headache for the longest time. So basically, at this point in the game, if you had played it normally, uh, you would have a couple <laughs> specific items. Uh, one would be, you know, any of the royal arms, um, which we have uh, n none. Uh, another would be uh, the, the ring of Lucy, which we... Um, do not no. have. Nope. And uh, another would be a beard. Nope. Do not have a beard. Nope. Sorry. sorry, sorry, Farub. <laughs> I know you were asking about that, but we don't currently. Um, yeah. Would it help if I took my clothes off instead? Oh, no. You mean that? Those yeah. clothes? Yeah. 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 yeah let's, we'll take a look. Yeah. Yes, not. Do, do me a favor. We'll, we'll, t we'll double check for the beard. Okay. We'll, yeah. we'll double check. Yeah. We'll, we'll take a look. Because um, you're right, we have had that helmet on for a while. Maybe maybe the beard did appear. Maybe. It was maybe. a long swim. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's true. Um, and there's, there's a couple other little things that it's checking for, but those we realize are some of the big uh, checkpoints that it's kind of like, you should have these things, because that meant that you completed the game. Right? Yeah, it, defa it defaults to a lot of these things. So yeah, it like changes your inventory to these things, so it's like, you have them, right? 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 No. Yeah, sure. Well, well, his beard, though. If we, yeah, I've if, got my beard. If we watch for the right moment about uh, a jester sitting on the throne uh, and we swap gear, the game goes, oh, you have it. Okay. Yeah, it's good enough. And then the... Uh, you, you could swap stuff, so clearly you're fine. Yeah. No. It has... Like, I believe you. The best part is I have to unequip my attire to get out of the cutscene without the game crashing. So in <laughs> true Philadelphia fashion, I got to take off my clothes before I do a boss fight. Apparently, <laughs> you can take the cowboy out of Philly, but you can't take the Philly out of the cowboy. Sure, yes, sure. Yeah, sure. You left Gritty in Philly, though, right? I love it. shout outs to Gritty. Woo. No, y'all can pop harder for Gritty. Come on now. Yeah. Hey. Listen, hey. you better cheer for him. He is coming. <laughs> <laughs> he is rapidly approaching your location <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> All right, who wants a boss fight? Woo! I want a boss fight. I want a boss fight. So this is Arden, who's the big bad of the game. And uh, we're going to warp strike him just like we did the rest. All right. Yep. And he's not going to play totally comfy, but that's fine. We'll get set up. It'll be nice and easy. Arden often does not like to play nice. Um, we're very used to that. <laughs> I actually would tell you to assume that he's not going to play nice more than he is. You're making me look like a fool, Arden. He's just taking his time. Yeah, come on. <laughs> nice kick, bro. Come on. <laughs> Fire? Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, perfect. There we go. So I died. Oops. Sorry, everybody. Now, Kyo's is going to do a series of warp strikes to get up high enough so that he can get Oof, over and got it. Oh, come that on. Was really I, I baited close. him into it. Yeah. Perfect. Oh. Calculated. That was close. Yeah. Just one extra for safety. Okay. We should be out here. We're out. Yep. This, oh, there we are. this glitch right always yes. just gives me. Heck yeah. That, oh. <laughs> that was good. 
now we're out of the boss <laughs> arena and we're heading to a side mission while Art oh is chasing after us the entire time. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, this is you didn't beat the game like this? Not the first time. No. <laughs> hey, I found a beard. Check out my hair too. I got some nasty <laughs> helmet hair. <laughs> Did you wash the gel out? Washed about half of everything <laughs> out. Give it up for Knock Beard. And yeah, yeah, Knock Beard. Yeah. Let's go. And if you're curious, yes, Arden is actually still chasing us. <laughs> <laughs> so we activate this side mission for a couple of reasons. First of all, the game cannot be completed unless Knock just has a beard. So you're welcome. <laughs> the game had your back. Number two. Uh, Arden is going to come over here, and this is actually going to bring Core into the fight as well, because Core is a part of this side mission. And we can actually, if Core doesn't, what are you doing, dude? Like, you're supposed to be doing damage Cor to the boss. Look, like, Core does whatever Core wants. Apparently, we're going back here. I, listen, at this point, I'm ready for the, like, the, the summon to come in as of, for, like, no reason. <laughs> <laughs> the summons that we totally never went and got. Yeah. Also, fun fact, every time Arden attacks us afterwards he's warp striking back to the boss arena that we left behind like yeah. 100 meters away yes so it's out of completely just everything and like i mentioned the targeting right now also isn't really going to be working great because arden's actual location is still back in that boss arena <laughs> so <laughs> good luck i guess he's got this i uh, I'm going to get the summon. All right. You all get to see something that doesn't happen very often. Uh. So the, uh, the fun part about this is normally what I'm actually waiting for is Arden's HP value to hit a certain threshold. And if I'm late, I can't open the menu, and we have to do this all over again. So the summon automatically phase changes. I was like, come on, Arden. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to change my outfit again to also bring Core. Apparently, if you change your outfit in this cutscene, Core comes along. <laughs> oh. I was getting really nervous, though, about him actually progressing that because like, he's hesitating a little long. Nah, he just stays there. <laughs> There's Core behind him. Yeah, he's ready. He's like Randy Look Orton him. He's right like, now. That look Coming out of nowhere. ready. <laughs> Uh, so what you can see kind of behind all of these menu screens um, is, is an incredible boss fight. It's we've incredible. gone basically <laughs> Super Saiyan mode, and all of the royal arms that we gathered are um, flying around us that we can then shoot towards Arden to do a lot of damage. Um, you know, because we totally went and got all of these, right? Definitely. Right. Yeah. Definitely. Absolutely. <laughs> The kings of yore are on hand, exactly. calling you forth <laughs> to oblivion. I like how his hat is just part of his hair. Yeah. Yes. It's, 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 <laughs> shout out to Jotaro Kujo. <laughs> Listen, my man's got that JoJo style visor. <laughs> Gosh, I love listening to this in French. Anyway, Cor and I are going to place a, a beat down on a mildly incapacitated man. So get ready on the timer because it's about to come through. Yep. And so now we're just going to attack with all of the you know, weapons from the Kings of Yore. And time. time. Yeah, bro. Core's there to help. Give him a roundhouse kick, Chuck Norris. <laughs> <laughs> I got to appreciate that that time, like, as he swung and picks his sword back up, that's when Arden actually fell. It was yeah. like, the, the timing was actually really well done, game. Yeah. Can't ask for better. Listen, we also get two versions of our party, and I think Core's still in the yeah. background of this <laughs> shot, still roundhouse <laughs> kicking. It makes no sense. It's like, so beautiful. Um, so those of you who do play the game, by the way, who are going, okay, but you just called time, but isn't there one more button input? Auto presses. It auto presses and therefore is not part of the speed run. Nice. My man taking a hat head to a whole other level. <laughs> there's core right Yeah, there's there. core. Core's ready. Core's like, get up, I dare you. <laughs> uh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so uh, I know we hit the Omega incentive. All I need to do is just kind of entirely quit out of the game because obviously you don't want to be doing anything with this game in the state <laughs> that it is right now. What, uh, are you saying that we broke the game? No, it's, 
complete. <laughs> <laughs> I beat it. What do you want? <laughs> While you do that, I got a couple donations here while you set up the Omega fight. Yeah. Cool. We have uh, $250 graciously donated to PCF by uh, Almira, Al Alimra. Allie. Allie. Hi, Allie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kios. Vi and I are watching together and rooting for you. Best wishes that Dead Eye blows up. Eh. Cerberus rolls over. Yeah. And if Freed wasn't too spicy, we will always stand <laughs> by you. <laughs> Thank you, Allie. There's core in the background. <laughs> Thank you, Allie. smoke, like yelling at I'm all these kids. I'm sorry for laughing over your donation, Allie. <laughs> I just, core is being core. <laughs> it, none of it makes sense. Is actual tech question, is there going to be a problem if I alt F for this? Okay, cool deal. <laughs> I, I have to. Like, the game needs to be hard shut. Either that or we're watching 15 minutes of credits. Yeah, it is, 50, it, it is 15 minutes of credits. It's, it's, and it's it is 15 long. minutes of credits that will make you cry. Yeah. True. 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 I still actually have a copy of the clip where Kia was crying during those credits. I've never cried on stream. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> because it was the playthrough he did right after getting partner. No, oh, that didn't uh, yeah, exist. Yeah. Yep. I have it. No, you don't. I do. <laughs> that's a, I used really, to do your video editing. Do you that's really want to fight really, what I have? Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, can, I can just delete access to that Google Drive right now. There's <laughs> plenty of stuff no longer that I'm using that's not still on sure. the Google Drive, but on my hard drive. <sighs> Fine. You win, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We ready for some Omega? We ready for some Omega. Woo! Cool. Here's hoping that it loads in properly. <laughs> <laughs> Some strange things can happen, but it'll be fine. I've figured out yep. the backup strat for it. So, as previously mentioned, there was uh, back when I was doing partner stuff and trying to figure out a way to make my stream incredibly entertaining yet challenging. Because we didn't have Does these time glitches start yet. Now, yep. or? Uh, yeah, sure. You know what? Yeah. Um, so what we have here. Oh, yeah. I would love right in the middle. Yeah. I want it right there. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. This, this cursor? This yeah. one over here? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> there weren't, you know, all sorts of jokes before the run about that mouse cursor. <laughs> Not at all. Anyway, so one of the categories I came up with was we, people had already done level one runs, and I was like working on like maybe all royal arms, and then there was like omega runs, so we just smashed it all together. So now we have a level one all royal arms omega uh, speed run, which is basically like all the optional story dungeons and the super boss fight. Uh, I guess really quickly before we go into everything, you will see that, yes, everybody is at level one. Uh, which button is it? Um, our, our stats aren't super great. Um, but we did visit one of my yeah, favorite man. vendors. Um, I, I don't think he has a name, but I he can't has, remember his name. He, oh. he has skewers. Yeah, yes. Dog. Uh, you want it? Cheers you want it? Yeah. You want, yeah, we'll ask for Paw. Fine. Woo! <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> I like that the game tells you, like, okay, you have shaken paw. There's nothing else you need to do now. We're not even going to ask you if you want to do anything after that. That's just what you need to do. So we're going to go back to the present. There is kind of like a 50-50 chance I'm just going to load into a void. It's not my problem. If it does, I'll fix it if it happens. But uh, that vendor that we visited in Lestalm that... I, I don't remember his I don't name. think he really has a name. He's just merchant. Yeah. Uh, we, we ordered some food from him, and that's going to be important. Okay. It's very important. As I hit, you know, four. Yay! All right, cool. Four. We loaded in. Excellent. So, I don't think I... Do I need anything? I think I have this set for... Yeah, that's all I needed. Cool. Ah. So, 
This is a save that is made before the end of the run, so this would be what I'd be taking to uh, fight Omega normally. Uh, and we mentioned earlier about how Insomnia really got expanded with the Windows Edition, Royal Edition, whatever have you, but there's a whole chock load of enemies and super special fights that are hidden in here, and it's actually pretty neat. Mm, no extra Mega Phoenix for me. Oh, well. Um, so we were trying to grab that Mega Phoenix mm. Ooh, prior wasn't, wasn't expecting that one. That was cool. All right, to, that's uh, that fight <laughs> fully triggering um, because you can't pick up items in combat. So there's that kind of moment with the red bar at the top where, hey, you're you're about to enter combat if you don't do something um, before it fully flashes across the screen. And that's kind of the timing that we were trying to grab. But sometimes the game doesn't let you grab things. All right. It's so nice to open a menu and not be blinded, gr greeted by, blinded by by you know the H H I D headlights, you know, from the <laughs> very large pickup truck behind you. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna make some magic here. It is actually pretty decent. So we're gonna bring our friend Ragnarok around. I'm no longer gonna need the axe. We can say goodbye to the axe, and that is gonna be replaced with. Uh, our we magic. don't need. Yep. And I'm gonna grab that. So, for those of you that are unfamiliar with our good friend, Omega. He's a machine frog. Yeah. <laughs> uh, or is a machine spider? That's true. Kind of, because look at the way he moves. And watch my entire party just stand right in front of that laser. Beam. Good job. <laughs> only Prompto. You only lost Prompto. I'm kind of impressed. So everyone uh, is cheering or booing that Prompto's gone. I'm uh, not cheering. Totally not. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's generally a mixed reception. It is. I'm, I'm joking because I kind of cheering because it's one less person in the way. Because um, the party members can get a little in the way here. Um, but one of the things you'll notice is that we are not wearing our super cool damage blocking suit. It's a one-hit kill from Omega. No it matter what you're wearing, no matter what you have equipped, it does so not matter. We might as well wear some other gear that is going to give us some other stats. Um, like I said, it's a one-hit kill, no matter what you do. So we're going to bring the party back up. And uh, these trees are our best friends. Um, yeah, it gives me a little bit of breathing room for now. Yep. Uh, as mentioned previously, Ignis is going to be our best friend. Um, you may not have seen much of it during the actual run, but the only reason we can actually do damage during this fight is because Ignis gives us well, uh, an Well, one answer. of two reasons. Yeah. And so some of you are sitting here going, this is the super boss. That, that says level like 100, what, 100, 119? 119, yeah. yeah. 119. Yep. We're level one. So, you know, how are we actually doing any amount of damage. Well, I'd like to remind you about that friend that we visited in Lestala and ordered food from. And so at the very bottom of the bar here, you see there's three little buffs. I, I could care less about two of them at the moment. The one that I care about is called Equalizer. Yeah, the old water droplets. And so for every level between me and the thing I'm fighting, I get a... 5%? I think it's 2% per 2%? level. 2%? Oh, nice. You get a 2% damage increase per level. So if you think about how big of a difference we're talking about, that actually makes this more doable at level 1 in some ways than uh, any other level, level, to be honest. Yeah. I, I, I prefer this fight at lower levels because it, like, just, like, it doesn't matter. Because even if you were cap level... A hit from Omega is still a one hit down. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about nothing. it, like, honestly. So it's not like you're gaining defense that's going to keep you alive. The other thing is I'm not going to farm all the way up to, like, max level in the game. That takes obnoxiously long. Um, instead, we're just going to make the use of the tools that are in the game for us, like Equalizer. going to start on the break strats. Mm -hmm. He's not giving me the leggies. I need the leggies. So one of the easier ways to try and progress this fight is, thankfully, Omega has a couple of weak points. 
and obviously it can't just go rampaging around the entire time. What I'm attempting to do is I'm going to try and set up having uh, three limb breaks. So when I get to a, like a, a pretty, Golly. <laughs> a, a, um, a like a, a rough HP figure, um, I'll just kind of break him down and put him in like the fully vulnerable spot. Uh, damage potential. Yeah, we should be headed towards phase two now. Yeah. Unlucky. Well, you kind of jumped into the laser. Yeah, I know. It's <laughs> Normally that doesn't matter, though. <laughs> and just kind of hard for, to think of it as unlucky when you landed. See, look at that. I was supposed to be stopped in that, but it just let me go through it. Uh-huh. Ignis fell over. I didn't hit the sauce too much during this fight. He was working on a new recipe. Come to my tree. <laughs> Come to my tree! <laughs> I feel like we need a, a special voice acting appearance from uh, Gruntilda from Banjo-Kazooie. Yes. This is so weird hearing it in French. Merci! <laughs> I forgot it's still in French. I left it in French. Hey, they, they, they won the bid war. Yeah, no, I'm here for it. I just <laughs> didn't think about it for a moment there. He is putting a number on you. Yeah, he's uh, he's not been very happy the entire time. I mean, again, this is what I get for actually having a decent run. So now this... Now he's making up for it. Yeah, he's making up for it. He's just being cantankerous. This is the uh, the game fighting back, mm -hmm. um, you know, by going, <laughs> okay. 15 is a very sentient game. It knows your desires. <laughs> it's like a gotcha game. It has the desire sensor. have that same opinion, though, of some of my speedruns, so I get it. All right. All right, so now... Yeah. Yep, Come there on. it goes. Yep, this should be exactly what I'm looking for. I just want to get it over to the next uh, phase. Wow, that was really cool. Nice. Nice, nice. Good damage nice. here. Yep. The other mildly misleading thing about Omega is it seems like it's going to be an incredibly long fight, but, like, the first, like, quarter of its HP bar... For some reason, it has, like, absurdly high defense to, like, just kind of make you think this is going to be an incredibly long battle, and actually it's, like, man, which is once you get past, like, the first kind of little chunks of it, it's yeah. actually manageable. It really don't want to give me those legs, though. Usually we've gotten a leg by now. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. That's fine. Free hit on re free hit on revive. But yeah. Shout outs to the devs that just decided to put this fight here where you can just stare at him and make faces the entire time. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Sir. I love Gladio just getting like knocked away, like pushed away while Ignis was dapping you up. But. Yeah. Listen, this is, a, this is a very intimate moment between my, my, my chef and butler and myself. Uh, all right, I guess. Sure, you can just <laughs> mow everybody down. I'll <laughs> get to you later, I guess. There we go. There we oh, go. We got warp. Yep. Cool. So I know exactly where I'm at now. This is phase two. Because, you know, what makes your boss fight cooler but then, you know, giving him the ability to teleport a little bit? Cool. So, as you can see, like, our damage has actually slowly gone up with each warp strike. Um, I think the, the f like, your first initial ones are barely a thousand and a half mm -hmm. damage. Yeah. We're, we're the first one okay. was 1437. Yeah, and now we're up to 4600, 4700, and it's just, just going to keep slowly climbing, especially as I walk him back into that. Cool. So second phase, he does add a few new tricks. Um, you know, obviously, like, the, the teleporting is, like, cool and all. Um, apparently, uh, dropping a few frames is, is also one of those very new <laughs> tricks. <laughs> um, the other thing he's going to add is, like, these seeking missiles that'll hit you and, you know, obviously because we're, we're pretty low health, it's gonna, you know, 
it's it's gonna knock us down a bit. But they have an addition. There's one break. Uh, they have an additional side effect of um, also giving you a death condition. Where whenever Omega decides, you know what, I'm gonna, you know, cash in that status effect, it'll just KO you. Uh, again, with how wonderful this game is, sometimes it will actually just ignore that <laughs> if you're in mid animation. All right, so we got right rear, well, technically left rear, right front. Now it's been a little nicer about the legs mm -hmm. in the second phase. That's good. Yeah. He tends to be nicer about the legs in second phase. I don't know why, but usually we've gotten we get one pretty quick, and then the others he's guarded off until you get to second phase, and then it's just like ah. Yeah, right, super, right. it's it's super weird. Like I'd love to understand how the the enemy AI is actually programmed in this game because it is wild. Like some enemies are just absolutely like clockwork. It is the same thing every time. Sometimes you get like what happened with with Ifrit. I've I'll be honest, the last time I had a one-cycle Ifrit that wasn't on the alternate strat that we used was, like, three months ago? Dang. I was like, it's been a bit. It's, it is such an, a, a rare occurrence. So there are the on-death stats. Uh, nah, didn't time it right. Oh, well. But we are actually looking pretty decent here. What do we got? We probably should be close to half health. Yeah. I think it's around that, yep. Oh yeah, this yep. is this is fine. We're looking good. Yep. Uh oh. <laughs> nah. Listen, everything is possible. If only you have a friend that can dap you up with whatever you're fighting is weak to. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, full damage already. Just enhancement and rage. So I'm going to keep trying to, to pick at him a little bit here because I want to get him to around like about a third HP and we might be able to actually just one cycle him all the way down. Unfortunately, Omega packing that, um, as the kids would say, the, 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 the sussy dumpy or whatever there. I, I don't know what it means, but... I feel like there's a there's a WWE reference I can make for the wrestling fans out there. If you got Haru's not here, I'd ask her. I think it's Rashiki, but I feel like if I also admit that, I, it gives away like how old I am, and the answer is too old. And yet still younger than me. I was gonna teleport again. Yep. A lot of damage there. Yep. That's a lot of damage. Just watch that health bar just melt. Yeah, yeah. definitely going up. Mm -hmm. I think with this one, I actually packed some uh, some extra stuff to make it make it additional fun. Yeah, we should be all right. He tried. Bless his heart. Uh, so the dodge mechanic in this game, you just kind of saw it, even though you. I, not a I, I electrocuted myself, and my apologies. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, it happens. So when you hit square, uh, you can just, like, phase away from the thing that's about to hit you. Yeah, you just... That is vicious. Yeah. That is, like, one of those terrifying things <laughs> I've seen. Bro, homie, homie is just... <laughs> He's coming. <laughs> It's like if Gritty and the, the people that call you about your car's extended warranty created a machine. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's nothing stopping them except a very flimsy piece of timber. I might be able to, yeah. Those trees are the MVPs of this fight. All right. I'm just trying to see if, nah, I'm, I still have the death status. That's okay. Nope, I nullified it. That's cool that I got stomped anyway. But this this game is like very interesting and in like some of the mechanics that it has. Like it has like memory overflow. It has wrong warps. It has animation canceling. Like there's so many like little weird elements that we see in so many speed runs, and they're all just kind of like packed in one spot, and it makes no sense. But I'm here for it. Yeah. All right. Uh, there we go. There I like go. how on top of everything else this boss has going on, it's got heat-seeking rockets. Yeah! Right. 
Like, not only does all of everything else I do kill you, but I also have heat seeking rockets. I should be able to it get is the super boss pretty for close to taking this out, but we'll see. I also might explode here. Oh, uh, okay, cool. Phase three. So we are exactly where I want to be. Uh, that's totally fine. That was bound to happen anyway. Just don't mind that you're inside the rail. Yeah, 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 it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> In the immortal words of Formula One legend Kimi Raikkonen, leave me alone, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Should be pretty good, though. He only has one leg left. It only has one leg to stand on. Uh, but we should be able to take, you know. Okay. Or, yeah, yeah okay. That valid argument. I understand your point. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, you could actually just skip that entire animation if you wanted to. Sure. What do we got? Back leg. This should be it. Excellent. Nice. Okay, so now I get to eat some of my snacks. I got a Magitek booster. Ooh, woo. And a muscle stimulant. So now I can just warp strike and do way more damage than I'm supposed to. And just really just one yeah. hand at one hand at home. We'll, we'll see how long it goes. Yeah, we might have to do like one cycle before or after, but you know, this is uh, it's not terrible. Yeah, Looks that's like cool. It. Yeah. How are we doing on time? Should be. No, I, I went way over. Ugh. My apologies. It's because uh, Omega didn't play as nice with us as we wanted. So. I feel like I, I didn't also count in like the time of like I'm gonna actually explain what I'm doing too. I was just he's kind of very gung ho about it. Like yeah, sure. That's so really all he has to do now is just be down one more time. Yeah, and pretty much. Good to go. yep. Oh, yep. So we're we're really almost wrapped up here. We just got to get one more opening. Mm. It was it wasn't then. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. This part to me always reminds me a lot of uh, like Dark Souls bosses and stuff, where you're you're watching the patterns and everything else, looking for that one perfect moment to get your strikes. Yeah, that war of attrition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. Nice. Almost. Yeah. Uh, the railing got in the way there. I think <laughs> it does. Occasionally, it's all good. We'll bring him home, <laughs> sir. I, I need you to <laughs> calm down here, my guy. <laughs> that tree over there is putting in work. I just got to say. Right? Yeah. Can we get some cheers in the crowd for that tree? tree? Big tree energy. <laughs> All right. Here we go. <laughs> Would you even call it the MV tree? True. Oh. Uh... No, not boo. Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> MV tree. <laughs> I like that. Like, I appreciated that joke, Kios. You're really branching out. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess it's uh, time for me to leave. <laughs> Every joke you make, I'm, I'm just going to intentionally just happen to accidentally be a frame off, right? <laughs> just, just so you know. <laughs> there we go. All right, that's just one more warp strike will be done. My apologies, it ran over. Unfortunately, listen, the this game cooperated is. enough today, <laughs> yeah. so I will take one L. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, give me some breathing room. There we go. Yay. Time. Excellent. Time it. <laughs> and Gladius found a beetle. Hey, we got a beetle. That's 800, that's 800 whole kill. Let's go. Oh, and I got an Omega Bat. I just appreciate after all of that, Gladius was like, hey, look, a beetle yeah. shell. <laughs> we did it. Cool. Yeah, we did. We survived. Oh, that's kill me, yeah. But yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for thanks for giving us a oh, chance here. Y'all got any final shout outs or anything else? Uh, if you want to watch more Kyo's, you should find him at twitch.tv slash Kyo's Little Monster. I was waiting for you to say D.E. Cosmic. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, thanks for having me on, man. I this is I've been waiting for you to get this run in. It's uh, I, yeah. I love how this game has evolved. It's so sick. 
Listen, so it was it's great the to magic be here. recipe. Take a four-hour run, just cut through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, that's it for me. Cool. Appreciate it. This run has been such a passion project for such a long time that I'm really glad to showcase it for everybody here. Yep. Finally, it's been a long <laughs> time coming. Yeah, yeah, we're good. <laughs>